So you just dig around the sides. Lift up. And split off. It's okay. Perfect. Okay. So you take all of these, right? All of these are babies. So you can take, cut it here, put it in. Cut it in half again. Like every one of these will make your flowers. But if you want them thicker this year, you just give it a bit more. But so we've got a couple of different varieties of hosta split off here. And now we are going to take them home and we are going to plant them into our garden and we will show you the transplanting once we get there. So here we are back at home to transplant the hosta into the hole. So general rule of thumb, you just wanna dig the hole about two times bigger than the hosta and about as deep as the roots. And we're gonna put them into the hole, cover them up with dirt, and uh, that'll be done for that. Give it a light watering. I'm not gonna water today, it is downpouring rain, so the soil is wet and the rain is going to do it. Uh, let me just transfer it over and show you what the final product looks like. So here is the planted hostas. I did a couple different varieties here. And I did forget to mention that these were a little big for transplanting. They're fine, they worked, but you can actually get them when they're just like little tiny babies. You could do them in the ground. Like two weeks ago would have been fine. It's just our weather has been so crazy and up and down that we just kind of waited until they got a little bit bigger and they started to curl. But yeah, this was a little late. You can do them earlier, but either way, still fine. You can transfer hostas in the spring and the late fall. So that's all for this video. Catch us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.